When I first designed the system, I did not want a UV light. I was dead set against a UV light because it needed power to run all the time. I don't really even know what I was thinking because my pump runs off electricity. So I have to have power to run the pump. It doesn't make any sense not to use a UV light. Can I, if I have a problem with a UV light, I don't have to use it. I just turn it off and run it through the two Rio filters. So I have a backup, but under normal circumstances, the UV light is absolutely fantastic. All the water goes through it. There's no filters to clean. There's nothing to maintain. It's, it's like having purchased water. My UV light is way oversized at 12 gallons a minute. If I had got the 6 gallon a minute one, it would have been more than enough because six gallons a minute doesn't come out of my faucets. If this quartz becomes 50% inefficient from dirt buildup on the outside, and I'm only flowing six gallons a minute through a 12 gallon per minute system, then that dirt, then that bacteria is still going to be neutralized. So by oversizing your UV light, you're protecting yourself from uh, a reduction in operating efficiency. So I, I oversized it because the connectors on here were three quarter and I was using one inch line everywhere else. On the six gallon per minute the connections in were only half inch and I didn't want to go down that small because I was afraid we wouldn't have enough water pressure. Now that I've used it, I think we would have had plenty of water pressure. We've had low water pressure problems so many times along the way, I didn't want to have them again. So I, I bought the bigger one. And I'm glad I did for the reduced efficiency protection. I also installed these union fittings in various places so I could take the system apart. So if I need to completely remove this UV light, I can unscrew both of these unions and that whole thing comes off. This helps a lot. Before, every time I took off one of these filters, I had to dump the water in a bucket and try to catch as much of it as I could because it was getting the floor wet. And I was very tired of dealing with that. So I installed this catch pan with a drain hole. So now I can just unscrew this. The water will go in the pan and drain off or evaporate. I installed the tank on top of the water pump to take up less space. And I um, also the filter configuration I designed to take up less space. So I, I keep all my yard tools in here. Along with all our beehive equipment and some other stuff. Um, I also had to insulate the room electricity and stuff to keep it from freezing. Last winter we got down to, we had a night that was 15 degrees and all this froze solid. We Luckily no pipes broke, but it all froze and none of the water worked. It took me until about noontime to get it thawed out. But now with the insulation, um, shouldn't have that problem. So we've been using this for two years in various stages. The Rio filters work really well. We use just the Rio filters for over a year, probably, oh, probably close to a year and a half. Um, we never got sick. The water tastes great. Those Rio filters are 
ceramic on the outside and carbon um, charcoal in the middle. This is the Rio filter system. This is the Rio 2000. It has six filters. This one only has five because I broke one trying to clean it one time. So to clean these, all you do is just unscrew them. You use a um, Scotch-Brite pad on the outside. They'll be like brown, and when you run that pad over there one time, you'll see the white streak down the middle where it's been cleaned. So you just run them over there, and it's all clean, and then you screw it back on. It has a little O-ring, which usually comes off on the threads. And you don't have to tighten them that tight, and that's what I did was I over-tightened it one time and broke one. So now this, this I use as, as a backup. Um, I just take out the five candles, clean them, and then I take one candle out of the other one and clean it and screw it in here. You can order a package of six just like this, but I don't remember seeing the one candle. I ordered uh, one candle one, and it was it did not fit this. It was for a different style filter, so it ended up being a waste. But that's what it that it goes into that big blue water housing, just like that. The water comes in the outside, goes through the ceramic in the middle and, and comes out the middle here and goes out to your house. But these are very, very popular overseas. Um, and Amazon sells them. And like I said, they work, they work really well. But the biggest problem with them is, is they work too well and they'll, they'll plug up quickly. So you really need good, good, good pre-filters. This is a brand new one that I ordered. Replacement cartridges that I haven't taken out of the box yet. So they give you the new O-rings for the top and the bottom of the housing. And then you get new candles. And when you screw those candles on, you know, once, the, once they are snug, that's it. Don't tighten them down. You could tighten them a lot and squish that O-ring, but you don't need to. You just give them a, a little tuck twist when they're, once they touch it and it's done. Now you can see, well, I don't know if you can see or not, but there's a big difference in the size of this candle compared to this candle. And I think that's also contributing to how often I have to clean them. So I've cleaned these candles so many times that now the surface area is less, so they're going to plug up faster. So the, if this is 10 square inches and that's only 5 square inches, it's going to plug up twice as fast. So I think that was also a contributing factor as to why after a while I had to keep cleaning them so often. But with a good pre-filter and new, um, new candles, that system's a lot, a lot more efficient. But personally, I highly recommend the UV light. 